Hey guys, my name's Victoria and my windows are filthy. So it is time to do the scavenger hunt tag. Uh, uh. Do the book scavenger hunt tag. Tag is a list of criteria that you have to complete using the books in your bookshelf. Find an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. For this one, I chose It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. I picked this up at a book exchange. I started reading it the day of. I finished it like a day later. It was so good. Highly recommend. The next on the list is to find a classic. So I don't have any physical books that are classics, but on my Nook, I do have Pride and Prejudice. The next one says find a book with a key on it. So regrettably, guys, I don't have any books with keys on them. Don't. Nope, no books with keys. Darn it. Let's find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. My TBR job. I haven't yet put the names of the new books in, but hopefully I will get to do that soon. Let's find a book with a girl on the cover. So most YA books nowadays have girls on the cover. So instead of finding just one, I am going to do a tally of all the books that I own with girls on the covers. Okay. I have 43 books with girls on the cover. So, yeah. Uh, find a book that has an animal in it. So for this one, I chose Blood Red Road by Maury Young. Uh, Saba's pet, he is a crow, I believe, and his name is Nero, so that has an animal in it. Find a book with a male protagonist. The Calling by Steven Dos Santos. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you guys watched my first video, you know that this is like my favorite book ever. And Steven Dos Santos gave me a few shout outs and when I saw that, oh my god, I, I thought I was going to pass out. The second book comes out around March 8th and I am leaving to go to South America to study abroad the week before that. I'm so sad, you guys. I'm so sad. Find a book with only words on it. I'm gonna kind of cheat with this one, but this is God's Promises for Graduates Class of 2011. I don't keep it with the rest of my books, and it does have this little cap on it, but we'll pretend. I find a book with illustrations in it. I do have this book, Victoria Spends a Special Day with Barbie. It was from my mom, and if you guys can see this, it has pictures in it. They're not necessarily illustrations, but they are pictures, and it's one of those books where you get it personalized with your name and your friends' names. And when I was younger, I, I just thought it was, I just thought it was so cool. Find a book with gold lettering. Guys, I chose Poison Princess by Cressley Cole. I'm about 100 pages into it. It's a little slow going, but the concept is really interesting, and I'm hoping that it picks up later on in the book. Find a diary, true or fictional. I, I don't have one of those. I'm not really interested in reading books that are written in diary perspective, but I just I don't like the format, and I know... I don't even have to look at my books. I know that I just don't have a diary. Find a book written by someone with a common name like Smith. So easy. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. John is a pretty common first name. John, you got a common name. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. It has a close-up of a girl's face with a little eye. I love this book. I liked the Twilight series. I know I was kind of hard on them in one of my previous videos. I liked it. It was okay. It wasn't exactly something that I read again. But The Host, absolutely loved it. The movie, not so much. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. As Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. The prologue starts off in 1878. Find a hardcover without a book jacket. But I do have one book. That would be this one. I'm not going to tell you guys the title because it's a naughty title. 
If you guys want to know the title of this book, just message me. I'll let you guys know. It's not too embarrassing. Find a teal or turquoise colored book. Well, I have many of those. The Fault in Our Stars is one of them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick another. So for this, I picked two. I picked So Be It by Sarah Weeks. But it's about this girl whose neighbor is agoraphobic and her mother is mentally disabled. And she goes on a quest to find her father. And the second book that I picked was Mockingjay, but I did like the epilogue. I loved the epilogue. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's just, they're just so cute. It's so cute. Find a book with stars on it. So at first I thought I was going to have to cheat and use John Green's The Fault in Our Stars because it technically has stars on it. It has the word stars. But then looking through a little bit, I realized that another book that I have has stars on it. And that is Revelations by Melissa de la Cruz. Find a non-YA book. So... The host is not YA, it's technically adult, and So Be It is not YA, it is a, a middle grade novel, but I also have two more adult books that I will be using, and that is The Death of Vishnu by Manuel Suri, I hope I just pronounced your name right. Also, The Stoning of Soraya M, this is just another one of my absolute favorites. It is so heartbreaking. It's about, he's a French journalist, he goes to the Middle East and he discovers a woman who tells him the story of her niece who was um, wrongfully accused and stoned um, for cheating on her husband. And find the oldest book on your shelf. So I don't really have an oldest book on my shelf. I'm going to have to reuse um, Victoria's Victoria spends a special day with Barbie. She said it's from 1996 when I was three years old. So that works. Thank you guys so much for watching my book scavenger hunt tag video. You want to say something to them? That's my dog, Wilson. As always, guys, I will leave the links to my personal Twitter, my personal Tumblr, and my Goodreads down in the description box. And I would like to tag some people. This is my first tag where I tag some people. So I'm going to tag the adorable and bubbly Michelle at Lovely Girl Reads. I look forward to seeing this tag. She loves doing tags. I would also like to tag Book Loving Jess. Book Loving Jess has so many videos and she deserves so many more views than she's getting because she's just so adorable. Say bye, Wilson. Say bye. Say, say bye bye. Bye. I think it was either last Christmas. My dog.